This is Captain Frick and his first mate, Pietru. We decided to chuck everything, leave the rat race and just embark on a new adventure. And that is our new home, Sisu. Join us on our epic journey as we sail the oceans, discovering new horizons, new cultures, new tastes, new flavors, new everything. It's just such a vast, vast world to explore out there. So please join us in our quest. Captain is under the needle again. Yeah. Touching up his tattoo. I touch everywhere, you know. Oh, that looks amazing. You see? Huge difference. And all of a sudden the marina is alive with activity. There's a huge race happening starting on Monday the 26th of October until the 1st of November. We had to move our spot and I have at this point in time crammed five mono holes into our spot that we had which was over there. There's one, two, three, four, five. On our way to the pump out station, um, you have to pump out your black tank every two weeks. Um, you get issued a card, which then they register every time you do. And if they catch you not doing it, there is major fines involved. So we'll quickly pump out before we're going to be on anchor for a whole couple of days now. We, we just left the marina <laughs> and we have nine knots of wind already. Sails is on, engines is off. So engines in neutral, 
take off and we are sailing at 3.6 knots <laughs> it was just amazing how the wind predictions are just not right but look nice sail guy threw his nets out last night in the middle of the night. It's amazing how close to the boat they come. And now it's time to reel in the net again, but I, we can't see any fish. But there was another guy fishing here yesterday, so there's obviously some fish around here somewhere. Today is the day that the race is going to start, or so they they said. But look at the, look at this sea. It's a gulf of marmorous, but it looks like a like a lake. There's two knots of wind. Hmm. So we will see, maybe the wind is picking up later, maybe not, but it's going to be an interesting race, very slow race. Or maybe that's why it's a week long, so they can wait for the, for the, for the wind. There's just nothing. Just look at this side, it is, it's like a mirror. Almost time to start. I was talking about something like three minutes. And the race, and the race is off. They just counted down. And hell, it's a sailing race, eh? So no great shakes. But we'll see the spinnakers coming out, or but mind you, they're going upwind now. And you can see all the nice colorful sails now that they're doing the downward link. And I have no idea who's the winner, <laughs> which direction even they should go. Our attempt to meet mooring. We anchored and we think we're close enough to the shore. The wind is blowing in the wrong direction, so it's starting to change. The wind is starting to change, it's starting to blow us more into that direction. But we will see. So I've got the anchor chain to the maximum at this moment. It's about uh, 95 meters out. I locked the chain, so it's locked. Um, now I've got the two 5 meter um, chains on Tipex. So I will take Tipex out. And we're going to pull Sisu with Tepix the maximum length of line that we have over here and see if we can reach the, the side. Um, there's quite nice rocks over there. So we will select one of those nice rocks over there. And it's our first attempt, so it's a little bit scary. Um, so we want to see whether we can do this or not. And there's not many people around, so there's not too much pressure. Um, we could have maybe selected 
the downwind side, but we also wanted to see while well, there's not so many people here, whether we will do it with a crosswind. Um, because I don't think we will always find a downwind side. So I've got two chains there. We're going to take now this line and Peter is going to feed it till the maximum and then I will pull Sisu in that direction and see if the lines will make it. If it makes it, I'll tighten the chain around one of the rocks. So we're working now on our windward side and the strongest line that we have here we put also on our windward side. So we will first attempt the windward side and make sure that it is tight and then we will take the leeward side and fasten it to another rock. So now I need to make sure Tapex is ready to to pull Sisu. 20 tons. So one problem that I do see is we don't have a floating line. So we need to find a floating line. And the line is now sinking and I need to be very sure it doesn't get into one of the propeller. So she reached the point, Petru has reached the point, she's going to cleat off and I'm going to see whether I can pull Sisu closer to the rocks to see whether the, the line and the chain is long enough. We still need to go so far. I see the gullets used this one already so it looks like people already used that one so I'm going to use the same one then I know I am good okay let's get the rope from Sisu So now I'm going to go back to get the rope, the line again from Sisu. Now, now we can fit here. the other side let's see how that works out Okay, so we use Sisu's engines to pull us backwards and we tighten these lines so they are very tight, tight and tight. That one there as well. It's nice and tight. Then, now if we're going to, because the engines is still in reverse, if we're just going to switch off the engines, Sisu is going to launch like an arrow. So we will just ease off. Ah. Sweating those lines is tough. So the way to ease off is we let go 
And the moment we start moving, we break again. Let go. The moment we start moving, we break again. Till we see that we are actually neutral now. I think we're good. Now these lines are <laughs> very taut. Okay. I'm going to inspect the lines again. Switching off all the engines. And very important, we've got a harpoon light that we're going to put in front so the guys know that we have an anchor line going out from stern to that side. I think in retrospect we could have got much closer to the side because um, it's very very deep and we can actually we could have anchored much closer but it was our first time get through <laughs> okay let me go hang out the torpedo light and then to I'm going to inspect the chains and the lines over there just to make sure they're all good. Great, our torpedo line is now hanging over there. So we are good. Anyone that's coming close will know that we've got an anchor chain going out. That we are met moored with an anchor. finally got to get here and it is so super cool. All this, there's only three places open because it's winter time, everybody's closed, but the three that's open is just amazing. And this is such a colourful place. I love it. It's very bohemian and yeah, just super cool out. <laughs> Awesome time of the day. <laughs> Just Beulah. Somebody's waking up, somebody's going to sleep, somebody is planning their journey. Somebody's just come in from their journey. Look at all those birds. And every mast tells a different story. Okay, so yesterday afternoon while watching the races, Frick discovered another leopard as it came sailing into the Marmaris area. A uh, leopard 45. And he called him on the radio and it turned out he's one of our YouTube followers. And he's anchored at this, or moored at this marina. And so he asked us to come over 
well, we suggested we come over and say hi on our way to Bordrum. So we might just spend the day here, but look at these massive, very fancy boats lying around here. There's like big moolah happening here. And this is the other side. <laughs> But look at this, it looks like very, very private little resorts or they're small and hidden away with these monster boats. I'm sure the guy that built his house here, it's got lots of money, so he decided to build the jetties big enough to accommodate his family's boats. And there's a co-anchored yati. our fellow Leopard 45. We came to say hi but he's already left. I look at that monster left of him. I look at these monsters lying over here. Sisu acting all grand here between all these massive boats. Got no idea what this dark boat is all about but it looks very mean. This is a mean mother fluffer. So it's blue. I thought it was black earlier when we came in. This is a monster machine. And next to it also a big one with the name LZ, which is coincidentally Frick's niece cousin's name is also LZ, just the L and a Z. We didn't know she was hiding a boat away from us. Look at these babies. They are huge. What a very nice marina. can feel the winter is approaching and we can also see the boats in the mist just looks so cool actually but it is getting colder and colder our solar panels also tells us that we don't make as much power as we used to but check this out it just looks so cute so mystic. <laughs> 